to show you how to do it yourself Vincent Van Gogh tennis shoes. We're getting ready to go back to school and I'm pretty sure most of you guys want to revamp that closet of yours. So um, let's get started. Okay so we're all set up. This is everything you need. You've got your fabric paint. I've got the acrylic. The, uh, uh, I've got acrylic white paint because I didn't get a white fabric. I couldn't find a white fabric paint. Uh, the tennis shoes, paint brushes, some glitter to dazzle it at the end, some uh, glam it up. And uh, I took the shoelaces off so I didn't paint them. I put them in the end because, well, you know, if you don't take them off, you'll end up painting them. Okay, so let's begin. And I'm going to start off with... Get this out. Some blue. Some yellow. Some white, some black, not very much black. There are traces of it in there, but it's not even a pretty deep black. Some yellow, I got yellow, I got blue, I don't have purple, and I did not get the green. Dash green. I'm putting there. That's just a pizzazz because I like green. And let's begin. Add a little bit of white. I'm making the moon. It's one of my favorite parts. And given this is a tennis shoe, I feel like it's a, a critical part of the, the piece.
it's really a matter of um, layers. And you'll see that after a while, it's just layers and lines. Don't feel too bad if it's not exactly what you picture it's going to be because, I mean, again, it's just, it's subject to your own artistic interpretation. That's pretty much what I do. So, I've got the moon, got my moon, and another major part is the, the building. Alright, so I'm going to start with my beautiful black building. Actually, I take that back. I'm gonna put a little, a couple of my uh, my stars in it. The stars in the backdrop. Fresh white paint and. Uh, because remember it's a tennis shoe the whole thing's not gonna fit on it if I scale it to size I mean it would but it would just be fairly large and I kind of like some of the details so I'm doing smaller but it's again completely up to your own artistic interpretation this is just what I'm doing so don't take it too seriously I decided to do Van Gogh shoes because um, he's one of my he's one of my favorite artists, and it's actually not even Van Gogh; it's Van Gogh. But I just I like to pronounce it Van Gogh because I'm used to it, which is really not good. But if you were still alive, I'd definitely say say Van Gogh. But I say Van Gogh, even though it's wrong. Some of those wispy clouds in there. I'm just gonna outline where I want my wispy cloud. Right there. I'm 
Mr. Wispy Cloud. Mm -hmm. purple, which is by accident, but you know what? The universe would like me to use a little bit of purple. over there by the corners. So what I'm doing now is I'm making a base coat, a base, just a base to whatever I see right there. And that's just not, it doesn't really have much uh, design in it. And then I'm going to make a, uh, a lined coat or the texture coat what I'm going to call it for the moment. Painted my hand, but it's okay. It's all for the sake of Van Gogh. So it'll be alright. So uh, I went ahead and finished the sides, adding in some stars and some of the wind in the background, starry night. Add the building to the front, kind of like a cactus creature. Mind you, he did red in his, I used yellow. I didn't have red paint. And I added the buildings and the mountains to the mountain side. You can see those there. So what I'm about to get ready to do is paint the side of the canvas. I'm avoiding the outlines. And uh, here we go.
definitely doing my own artistic interpretation here and there. I'm using purple instead of red and I'm using green. And there's only faintly any green in it. Use like a, a dab of black it goes a long way because again he's he's only using he only uses traces of black I wouldn't even call that black but The main part of the picture is on the front of the shoe. On the side of the shoe, I just included uh, the background, the sky, the, uh, the wind, and some stars. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the, the other side, so both sides are gonna be similar or the same. Okay, so I went ahead and I finished both sides. Voila! Ta -da! Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I'm about to do the back, right? And then I'm gonna clean up the shoe and make it party. So first, I learned is to paint the base coat first. It makes it look far more vibrant, and it gives you less work than painting the entire scene. And if you're getting into lazy artist mode, which I'm definitely lazy artist mode right now. I have so much more respect for Van Gogh. I mean, I, Van Gogh, Van Gogh. Because I mean, I had it before, but Starry Night took some, uh, took some effort. More than some effort. He's too amazing to be poor for his time. So just rough it up. Doesn't matter if you get some on the outline because I'm going to go back and that up to make sure you don't saturate it, drench it in paint, and try to clean it up because it will not work. If you got like a couple spray, random floater paint marks, yeah, you can clear it up pretty quickly. In fact, let me switch brushes. The fabric paint takes four hours to dry, so you don't have to worry too much about, not four hours to dry, but four hours to set before you can mess with it. So you don't have to worry about too much about uh, any scraggly areas that you want to clean up at the end. I just like to clean them up as I go, because I'm pretty sure that I could be tested slightly for OCD. But I'm not gonna get into my, my medical background. I'm just kidding.
And again, at the end, I'm gonna go in and fine tune, clean this. It's just, it's easier if you have a thin coat than if you have like these thick layers of paint. Those are not, those are not easy to clean up for paint over. Okay, so for the back, I'm gonna do a close up of the moon. I've got it up there, but he's not in his glory. So I'm gonna put a larger version of him in the back. To give him a little bit more justice that he, the justice that he rightly deserves. He is, after all, the moon. Artists tend to be very critical, self-critical people. Uh, don't worry about it. Just do what you do. Go watch my shoes. going out right now because there are just sections where he kind of he goes out but it's not in just the one color so, that's why Careful with the blue. A dab goes a long way, ladies and gents.
Remember that the paint is wet. Don't be like me. I like to work with acrylic, so it is easy for me to forget that something is still wet. The universe will not bend to my impatience. So, you can leave the shoes like as is before I clean up, or you can add some dazzlers, glitter crystal, tulip crystal, tulip glitter crystals. There are other brands you can use. I just found these because I like the fact that they're not completely clear or pink. They're kind of like that rainbow, that rainbow color. They're not completely clear crystals. Okay, so I just finished the do-it-yourself Starry Night Van Gogh shoes. You don't have to do Van Gogh. It's Van Gogh. Van Gogh. You don't have to do them. Uh, you can do whatever artist you, you like on any old pair tennis shoes you have or anything like that. It's always good to just spruce up other things that are in your closet. You see the crystals and all that jazz. Let me know what you think, and like, love, subscribe. Bye. Think of the clouds are rolling, there is a storm inside of me. Deep thoughts can paint a picture, paintings I never want to see. You choose my battles, my battles all gang up on me.